Good morning, everybody. I sort of managed to let my good camera run in data transfer mode for about two days or something. Um, so it needs to be recharged by now. But uh, what I want to show might get actually very well with the tablet camera. At least I'll give it a try. So my idea is how to fix something again. I'll try to do some soldering just at my living room table. I do have a, actually a, a laboratory sort of, but uh, it's even messier than my living room. So, and by the way, I always like to show that you don't need to have a big shop with whatever tools and stuff. You can get things done with uh, quite a basic equipment. Let's switch to the other camera and see what we get. Well then, I got this nice little toy. No, not having an actual idea what it's really good for. You see it's done by M MB. Milton Bradley. I think this is the quite well-known toy company. Correct me if I'm wrong. And it has a problem. Let's open the battery case. That's quite an easy problem. The battery clip completely fell off. Now I'll try to fix it with some of the usual basic tools, tool sets. And my set my basic soldering equipment. You can probably see here. The sun is shining, which is good. It just has the small disadvantage that I do not see what my tablet is ha happening on my tablet. Yeah, I have a running nose, sorry. Will make its own sounds. So it's just actually I need the this one I need the, the lead or soldering material and my gas driven soldering iron. That's actually too why I doing, I'm doing it up here in my living room, just to sh show this is equipment you don't even need electricity for. So, let's just first of all unscrew the whole thing. That's the easy part. You can even do it the quick way if you are impatient. Okay, it doesn't... Personally, I don't think this works that much better for just four small screws. Okay. 
and I put this piece on card of cardboard on my table just because I don't actually want to get it too messed up. Okay, careful about the keys. Uh, that's that. E. Let's put it in the right way. Nope, that's the wrong way. Yep, you know the whole construction is very straightforward. The keys, the easy keyboard. Here we have the plus, which is also slightly rotten apparently. Actually, the that's what happened. The, the, he got the cables got. Corroded and simply broke. Now I have always a slight problem with opening the pliers. Got them. What I want to do actually is to get to some a bit more. A bit better quality stuff here. Let's see. I think there is this one is to, meant to cut cables. Could it be? At least it seems to work. Let's try to carefully remove the insulation. actually tried before this particular part of the pliers but I think they are made for what I wanted to do now so actually there is an external power inlet too I just don't have anything matching it so I try it this way I already opened the clip here so you can see what happened and this one is already in an acceptable state this this part of the cable just try to remove some oxides if if there would be anything so we can start soldering right away I'd say mm, not much gas left. I should have some in the kitchen. Actually... Yes, perfect. So, better. Does it work? Off on here. Ah yes, I can hear some slight sound. Then let it work for some moments. Get the even burn. Yes, it starts glowing, that's perfect. Actually the Yes, perfect, perfect. So, get the short piece. This here. And by the way, oops, I should not put the hot part on the. I remember I had some sponge before. 
Okay, a sponge to clean the soldering iron. Apparently I managed to put that somewhere else. Where it should not be. It should be in the box. Mm. But that's not a major problem at the moment. I don't have to solder too much so it will not get too dirty at the moment. Just put some tin on here. Some here, hit it up just not too much. There is some material that might not like the heat. Of course, when it was assembled, it was a <laughs> solder <laughs> and then glued together. So, just let's try to prop up this one. By soldering you should heat the material and not just this one. Stupid, I forgot the name. So, in German it's Lötzin, which means tin for soldering. It's mainly made of tin by the way. So now we can assemble this one. Just heat heat it up the way it needs to be. Yeah, not perfect but it's uh, always a bit the technical problem. So uh, where do I have to put the red one? This needs some investigation first. The red one here is going into the main electronics. There's a green one here. So where did the red one actually come from? Oops, that strip does not actually do much anymore. Uh, I'm not sure if, if it, it probably was done here at the plug, because here we have a broken, we have some broken tin, uh, broken, broken cable, and the rest of cable at the other side, so I'm quite sure it has to be fed into this part. I can just give it a try, there is not so much more to do. After that we have 50% chance of it either working or breaking. No, that's wrong, because in most cases, I have to say honestly, it does not break right away just because the power is coming from the wrong side. More often it just doesn't do anything. We are lucky, there are quite big holes to feeding this thing in. So we don't have to put the whole thing first inside here and the cables through the hole and solder everything together when, when the plastic is, is in the way. So it's uh, Quite a good construction, which is normal for older stuff. Modern times you often get the problem that you can, can't really fix it. Oh, there is a... There are some dead insects in here too. That was something you get too when having old stuff. So I removed the old cable remnants and remains and I try if I can feed it through the hole the cable the new one yes worked like the charm so we did feed it through the hole again 
Oops, that was a bit too optimistic. So we did fit it through the hole. Yeah, you know, the flux, the colophonium got quite some nasty stuff, put quite some nasty stuff at the soldering iron's tip. I will clean that one up afterwards. That's when you are soldering. But after all, our job is now actually done. I am sort of assembling the whole thing now because otherwise it will fall fall apart when I turn it and all the keys will be scattered all over the place. Ooh, ah. I came back and the camera did not record anymore. I just can hope it did record what I want to. Let's get the battery out. And put it in. I did not yet screw it all together. So I have to be careful. Let's put the battery in. Better now. Okay, hold it all together. Switch it on. Oh yeah, uh, looks like the switch itself is not in the best. It did actually do something for a very short moment. And now it's over. Yeah, I'd say the switch is not in the best state too. I yep. It does do something, but I have no idea what it's meant for. It seems to be kind of a logic game, as it said here. That's quite about all I can say. But I guess we fixed the thing by soldering the battery clip together. And the whole rest is, is to try out. No idea. Yeah. So, switch it off again. And by the way, I was right soldering the battery clip to the switch because it has, of course, to be switched on and off. So now we can put screws back in. The good thing is they are exactly the same size, all four. That's not actually always the case. I do a quick screwing by just putting them in and using this one. Freehandedly between my fingers. So and then I'm afterwards I'm going to check if if it will work and what the video camera actually made out of the whole thing so I'm 
I'm still a bit puzzled, but ac actually the camera did not seem to record quite all of it, but at least I can tell the whole fixing process worked by soldering the clip back together. Hi, some bonus fact about the recording stuff. I had filled up the external SD card of my tablet and so it, uh, the camera app switched to internal storage instead. Before recording this video I did clean up the external uh, SD card but the camera app did not switch automatically back to external so it recorded on the internal storage and filled that one up too and this probably led to this uh, random effects I had when filming the video and I was talking about. So there has to be um, quite some stuff to check before you start recording otherwise you will get surprises every then and when. So, thank you for watching and have a nice day.